now let's talk about the creation of this universe we have already spoken to you about the sun how the sun was created when it was created but let's go back beyond 4.5 billion years let's talk about the source of everything the stars the planets the meteors the comets let's talk about the creation of the universe because whatever we experience today they all have originated from that bang known as big bang so big bang of what of which object of which matter so let's take you to the world of creation of this universe and the journey begins like this the creation of our universe is the genesis of everything whatever we think whatever we see everything has its origin from a big bang why i am uttering this word big bang every time because it is the most widely accepted theory till date that the entire universe was created out of a big bang so the most widely accepted theory for origin of the universe big bang this theory was proposed by abi lamiter and when this big bang occurred of which object that is very important according to cbsc ncert this big bang occurred almost 20 billion years ago and some research says ki big bang occurred about 13.7 billion years ago now let's not go into any type of details about the origin of the universe but what is most important we need to understand what were the processes by which the present universe was created the universe originated from a hot and infinitely dense point which was just few millimeter in width so this hot infinitely dense point is nothing but it was a supercharged black hole it was tremendously rich in energy unimaginably it was hot full of energy so the entire universe was created out of this supercharged black hole which was just few millimeter in width and therefore along with the universe our earth the very planet on which life is possible till date no other planet has been reported to have life except for kepler 22b which is known as earth's twin almost double the size of earth but that has just been proven research needs to be done more but what is most confirming is that earth the only planet which hovers life so when was this earth created what was the name of the era so the earth was created in the hadean era about 4.5 to 4 billion years ago so let's see the composition and the structure of the earth how the earth looks like so the earth consists of four important layers let's start from the center to the periphery 
the central portion of the earth is termed as the core which is inner and solid so innermost is a core which is solid on top of it is the outer core which is liquid so solid center mass having a liquid floating on it and then there is a silicate mantle which is floating on that liquid outer core and on top of that silicate mantle is the rocky crust which harbors life which has life giving source water now formation of earth was a long long story so let's presume when big bang occurred 20 million 20 billion years ago and therefore the entire component of universe was created and along with that our earth was also created but why do we say specifically that the earth was created about 4.5 billion years ago actually it is supposed to be earth like in between 4.5 because the earth was created exactly on the same time when the universe was created but it was horribly hot unimaginably hot the temperature of that condensed dust and cloud which was termed as solar nebula was almost 10 million degree centigrade it was a spirally coiled dust and cloud it condensed initially and then exploded so when the earth was created the temperature was supremely hot no life could have originated in such hostile condition it took almost 15.5 million years for the earth to cool down to become earth like so initially when big bang big bang occurred and when the earth was created everything was in a form of plasma the temperature was horribly high or as the particles started scattering from the center of that supercharged black hole the temperature dropped at the rate of minus 260 degree centigrade for every one light year moved away from the center of that supercharged black hole temperature dropped minus 260 minus 260 minus 260 for every one light year moved away and hence that plasma earth started solidifying till the time the earth was in a plasma state it was not having any atmosphere all the gases were escaping in space due to lack of gravitational force but eventually as the earth solidified it started having its own gravitational force the temperature became congenial and due to the gravitational force of the earth the atmosphere was created because the gases which was escaping in space got trapped so therefore gravitational force gravitational pull helped in the creation of the atmosphere it is only after the formation of the atmosphere condition on earth started becoming favorable initially there were gases like hydrogen helium carbon dioxide water vapor methane ammonia in the ancient earth there was no water there was vapor 
So the water was in a form of a gas, in the vaporized form, in the atmosphere. As the earth started cooling down further, the water vapor in the atmosphere started condensing and falling down as rain. It rained for millions and millions of years. And all the crevices on the surface of this crust got filled up with water. And we know that the crust is a reservoir of minerals. The rocks are the reservoir of minerals. So when the water started pouring down, as it touched the floor of the earth, water being a universal solvent, it dissolved all the minerals. And hence, the water was saline. The water was marine. And the water was hot. So the temperature of the ancient ocean was not the same as we experience today. The temperature was almost around 100, 120 degrees centigrade. It was a hot soup. Why hot? Because temperature was 120 degrees centigrade. Why it was soup? Because that water was rich in minerals. Now, this hot soup is also known as hot primordial soup, which actually favored the origin of life.